So there's a lot of MLW stars recently, not to get too personal, that actually yeah. have been leaving the company. Yeah. Like, what's, like, your relationship with the MLW office, like, going forward with, like, the, how long your contract is going for? Oh, man, you know what? I mean, listen, when it was WWE, um, AEW was almost there, but they was really one. Um, ROH, it was, what's his name? Brian Kelly, I think Brian Kelly or somebody was over at ROH. Um... I remember they told me, like, I, I wouldn't have with a text though neither in the email, by the way. But, no, nah, it's all good, though. I'm just – I'm talking shit right now. But, uh, no, MLW gave me that platform. Court Bauer did, man. Um, MSL. Um, Low-key was there. MVP was there at that time. And uh, you know what? Besides them, everybody, oh, they needed you. No, like, I kind of needed I, – I really needed them. They gave me that platform, and, you know, they helped me build. I mean, bro, they was giving me dope matches. Not only that, they believed in it. You know, when nobody was else wanted to take a chance, uh, MLW did, Court Bauer did. Shout out to MSL. You know, my boy, uh, my, my, my close, dear friend, um, Joseph Kabibbo, uh, known as the Sheik um, of Contra, you know, also owns one of the best independent companies ever in, in SoCal, in California, man. And uh, the fan base that he has built out there for PCW Ultra and uh, Longshoreman's Hall in Wilmington. You know, before there was Jacob Fatu of the Contra and MLW, you know, there was Jacob Fatu at Knox Pro Academy, which is Gangrel, which is my uncle Rikishi Gangrel and uh, Reno on the White Black Pearl. You know, they was training out there, but uh, it was a PCW Ultra, man. Um, you know, I was getting it in over there. So shout out to Joseph Kabibbo, man. That's my brother. He actually made the deal happen with MLW. And, man, that's how Contra ended up getting started over there. Amazing. So, yeah, sorry, I was going off a little bit, but, you know, I just felt like, you know, you know, when we talk, baby, it's from the heart, you know what I'm saying? So. I feel like your time at MLW has been, like, so, like, eventful. I feel like you've been, like, the face of the brand, actually. And, like, oh, right what does it mean to you to have been, like, the MLW champion and still, like, in a very prominent spot with the company? Man, it felt good. I mean, mind you, bro, when we all, me, Matt Warner, she, Hammerstone, and somebody else, two other cats, we all got signed at the same time. So our debuts for MLW was at the same day in, in 2300 Arena. And um, mind you, Penna Phoenix was there. Davey Boy, um, uh, Brian Pillman Jr. was there. The Von Erics were there. I mean, bro, like we was rolling, you know, and this is way for AEW and stuff, but we was rolling. So to get there, and especially to get there with Hammerstone, because like I said, I brought a PCW Ultra earlier. Especially to get there with Hammerstone, bro, it was it was just good because it was somebody who I have already was on the indies with. And then to see what we become in MOW, you know, it just, it just worked out, man. So, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, people could talk shit, say this about MOW. But at the end of the fucking day, man, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm thankful and I'm happy for the platform. And, and, and I'm happy for Court Bauer and I'm happy for MSL, you know. They can say, oh, Fatu, they're just treating you because you're Fatu. Like, no, I didn't get this shit overnight. Like, I, I, I had to work my ass off at MLW. For sure. You know, because when they think about Impact, they think, when they think about WAEW or ROH, no. But when you think about fucking MLW, you know, goddamn it, Jacob Fatu, Hammerstone, and the rest of us better be popping up. You know, yes, sir. so that's it. Not to get too personal on it, though, but yeah, that's it. I love though. it. Channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze. If you like the channel, this will squeeze.